Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to talk about the Last Forever Tip Tool. This is what I use on my cues. People ask me all the time, what do you do to take care of your cues? What kind of tips do you use? How do you shape them? The whole bit. This is the only tool that I've ever felt that I needed to endorse in reference to taking care of your tip. I do not have a sponsorship agreement with them. I did leave a link to this tool in the description of this video. If you use that link, FX Billiards get a couple pennies every time you buy one, so we appreciate you using the link. But in the meantime, you guys have heard me talk about this before. It is the best tip tool that I've ever had. Now, it's called Last Forever, but it does fly under a couple different names, which is another reason why I'm leaving the link there. It'll be easier for you to find uh, if you purchase it on Amazon using our link. I'm going to show you real quick how to use this because it is not self-explanatory and it does not come with instructions. All you're doing here to get the dime curve or the nickel curve on your cues, and just an FYI, I use a dime curve on all of my cues with the exception of break cues, which usually have a nickel um, curvature on a phenolic tip that doesn't need to be shaped anyway. So. This has a dime curve. It is inside this groove, which is curved here. And the way you're going to use this is you're going to set it horizontally on your tip and you're gonna move it from left to right as you slowly turn the shaft of your cue. Now, this is going to shape your cue tip. It will also roughen it up so that it can hold the chalk even better. But this is a shaping tool. This is not something that you're going to use to rough up your tip. I'm going to show you how to take care of that in a second. And I tell you this because even though it will rough up your tip and hold the chalk better, this is hardcore. This is a shaping tool. If you use this to make your tip rougher so that the chalk sticks better, you're going to wear down your tips very quickly, especially if you use soft tips like I do. So you use this to shape it, and once it gets shaped, then I'm gonna show you the bow tie, which is a world famous tip tool, I think, that is going to help you get everything else taken care of. This is not very expensive, especially when you consider the quality of this thing. This is not a new one, as you can see. I don't have any kind of sponsorship agreement with them, but um, this is the one right out of my bag. So it has had some reps on it. There's also a rough side to this that you can use if your tip is mushrooming or you know just coming out on the sides and you need to work on it, I honestly buy high quality tips. So I don't have a lot of issues as far as mushrooming. I have honestly never used this on the edge, on the side of a tip. But if you do need to get the side, the edge of your tip back in shape, this edge will, will do it. Like I said, I've never used it. So you can get the dime shape or the nickel shape. You guys, I know you wanna know what I use because of the draw shots and the force follow shots and all the English and stuff like that. The dime is going to give you a little bit more spin on the ball than the nickel will, and I use the dime. Let me show you the next tool. This goes by a number of different names. I'm gonna leave a link to this as well. It is the most famous tool ever it is all over the place. I don't know how many different companies are making them. Maybe the same company is making them and they're flying under different names. But it also has, if you buy the right one, it has a shaping tool down here. This is not what I use to shape my cues. So what you would do is you would put it down like this and spin your cue from left to right to get that dime shape on it. Now I don't use this because it doesn't give me the same accuracy that the last forever. Now, what does that mean? It means if this is not totally vertical and I'm not keeping my cue perfectly straight, I'm worried that I'm not going to get a true dime curve and that I may screw it up. I've talked to some professional players who you would think would be good at taking care of their tips, who have totally ruined their tips by using the wrong type of tool and getting the wrong type of shape on their tip. The other thing that this has, uh, it has a scuffer on one end which usually screws off, and then it has, on the other end, these little needles. Once you screw this off, it's got these little needles on there. And what you wanna do is you wanna just place it down on the tip of your cue, 
and rock it. And what, and what it's going to do is going to put little tiny holes in that tip, in that leather tip, that is going to allow the chalk to adhere to the tip even better. So I see this a lot where people were just jabbing at it. You can use it that way. I was taught to put it on the edge of my cue, on the edge of the tip, and just rock it forward and just slowly turn. And you want to do these things as uniformly as possible. You don't want to have a tip that you look at like this, spin your cue around, and it's oblong. So as far as scuffing up your tip so that it holds the chalk, I do recommend this. There'll be a link in the video. It will be called the bow tie. And I recommend the last forever tip tool as far as getting the right shape on your tip. If I only had one of them in my bag, I would get the last forever tip tool because not only will it shape it, but it will roughen up that tip a bit. And even though both of them will shape and scuff and do everything that you need, uh, that one just seems to be the one that I have the most success with. And I think because of the way it operates, it puts a more consistent curve on the tip. And I don't worry about trying to get this thing totally vertical and then making sure that nothing moves left or right while I'm trying to um, get that proper tip on there. So if you have any questions, hit me in the comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the Last Forever Tip Tool and the bow tie in the description of this video. And you may also find a link in some of my other video descriptions. Um, once again, we get a couple pennies every time you buy one of these. So if you can use our link, we do appreciate it. Have a great day.